I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alford, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this 2017 Shasta Phoenix fifth wheel. Let's go ahead and start our tour on the inside. Okay, so here we are on the inside of our 2017 Shasta by Forest River Phoenix. This is the 32RE floor plan. And what I'm going to do today is show you around the layout of the 32RE and also point out some of the features that this trailer has. The 32RE uh, and this particular model and all of the Phoenix line come really loaded up with equipment. I don't think you can find more bang for your dollar in the fifth wheel market, period. Uh, we're very excited to have them here at Highway RV, and I think you'll see why as we go through this tour. Uh, this particular model, the 32RE, is 33 foot 11 inches long. The empty weight is 9,120 pounds, and we have a hitch weight of 1,443 pounds. Uh, we're going to start the tour back here at the very back of the trailer. We're here in the living room and you see we have a nice uh, sofa here. It's in a kind of a mocha colored uh, leather. It's a very dark brown, uh, espresso color I think is what some people call it. Uh, and this is a sleeper sofa so you can pull that out and have comfortable sleeping for two. On either side we have an end table with storage down below and the tops on this are nice wood. It's a two-tone wood cabinetry look that we have going on in this uh, in the Phoenixes. We have a dark kind of a dark walnut or, or cherry look and a light blonde uh, color of wood. I'm not sure exactly what wood, maybe uh, oak, uh, I'm not exactly sure but it's a really nice color, really nice light color. Doesn't close you in uh, but at the same time looks very nice and contemporary and stylish. Up above the sofa we have uh, four cabinets up here, uh, plenty of storage. We have a barrel roof and that's really highlighted by the indirect lighting above the cabinetry right there. Got a couple of nice wall sconces. And the window treatments are kind of unique in the Phoenix. These are a soft window treatment so if you ever get tired of them or you want to change the color you can just take these right off of the curtain rod and put whatever you might like on there whether it be curtains or a valance whatever your personal taste is. The blinds are a slow rise blind so you just give them a tug and they go up nice and gently have a nice quality feel to them. They're in kind of a nice beige color and all of the windows are cased in wood so you have a full wood casing all the way around the window. Uh, you could have no window treatments on these and they would look really pretty because they're that well finished out. Uh, all the flooring throughout the living area uh, in this model is Congolium uh, vinyl. It's in a stone kind of a look uh, to the tile and it's uh, going to wear really really great, easy to take care of and it's a very tasteful color that blends with a lot of different uh, decors. If you want to bring a little color into these, um, your, your, um, your floor is going to go well with that. Over here we have two recliners. All of the furniture is Lazy Boy in these, so these are Lazy Boy uh, leather recliners and uh, just really pretty. That same kind of uh, espresso colored leather on those. More windows on the slide out over here. So we've got one slide out that kind of encompasses the dinette and the two recliners. And over here we have another slide out for the kitchen and the entertainment center. And in that entertainment center we have a couple of cabinets up above that are very deep. They go way back in here. Got a nice big Jensen flat screen television right here on a swivel mount, an arm mount that you can pull out and move wherever you might want it. Jensen is the uh, only brand that I know of that's made specifically for the mobile market, so it's going to be built to hold up going down a road and hitting bumps and things like that. Below that we have the Jensen DVD sound system, so it's DVD, CD, Bluetooth, AM, FM. You can use this to play music on the outside porch area or inside or both. You could also have the audio for your movie play through that. Uh, you can have the audio from your television with your antenna signal or satellite signal. You can have whatever audio is in the television output into this so you can have kind of uh, amplified 
outside sound throughout the trailer or in the living area. And down below we have everybody's favorite, which is the fireplace. I uh, don't have it hooked up to electric right now, so it's not lit up, but you can have it in just light up mode, so even on a hot summer night, you can have the, the fire uh, look going without the heat. And then when it's cold out, uh, these are free heat. They run off of electric. They do a very good job of heating the trailer up. And the good thing with electric heat is you're not paying for that when you're at a campground. With LP gas, you have to use your own money to heat the trailer. With electric heat, you're going to be using the campground's electric. So it's basically free heat. Coming back from there into the kitchen, we got an island kitchen in this layout. So have a nice big island with the solid surface countertops, an undermount sink, and antique bronze hardware with a pot filler design. Really nice hardware. Over here we have the upgraded four-door refrigerator. It is a Dometic refrigerator. So you got two freezer compartments and two refrigerator compartments. Over here we have a microwave and a three burner cooktop and oven below. And you can fold this up out of the way right there and uh, you can do your cooking and don't have to worry about where to put your, your stove covers. You can just fold them back there, then you can fold them down when you're done. So really nice convenient uh, uh, feature there. We have cabinetry here, a drawer here, another cabinet below. On this side we have a bank of four drawers right here and storage underneath the sink. All of the drawers in these are solid uh, wood, no press board. So you've got, well I shouldn't say solid wood, this is a plywood type of, of uh, material, but it is real wood. It is not pressed board and, and all of the workings of the, uh, ca of the drawer are real wood. And you got nice ball bearing glides, so they glide really nicely and uh, are very good quality. Uh, coming on over here, we have our dinette, a uh, nice four-person freestanding dinette. Each of the chairs have storage underneath the uh, underneath the cushion, and you also have a nice little drawer that pulls out of the uh, out of the dinette table there. Over here you've got tons of storage. This is really a nice uh, part of the trailer. You open this up, you got an area here for larger items. It's got coat rack, uh, coat hooks and things like that so you could put your coats and things like that in there. You got shelving in here and plenty more shelving up here. So this is really great pantry space, whatever you really want to use it for, but it's just a massive amount of storage. So that's pretty much it in the main living area. Oh, you do have the pendant uh, fixture here over top of the uh, over top of the island, and we do have a fantastic fan which is running right now above the uh, cooking area. Here's our entry door, and then we uh, walk up a couple of steps, and we come up to the master bedroom and master bath area. If we make a left, we come directly into the master bath and we have our toilet right here. It is a china toilet with a foot flush. Got our nice vanity over here and my, one of my favorite features of the whole trailer is the vessel sink. This is a beautiful vessel sink. It's kind of dark brown and metallic gold. Really, really pretty color. As the cameraman goes through, I'll have him get a shot of that as he's a little bit closer. But this is a really nice high-end looking uh, type of a feature to have. Uh, really, really nice. On either side you got some nice little storage areas. Got your mirror there. A couple of drawers here and cabinets of course beneath. And then over here is our, sh oh we got a, we got a, uh, a nice linen closet here. And over here we have our shower. What I like about the showers, we have this really nice LED fixture. So not only do you have natural light coming in during the day, but at nighttime you've got this really nice big light that's going to give you lots of light when you're in here. There's maybe, I don't know, 
25 little miniature LEDs inside of this and it looks fantastic. Uh, got a nice surround in here, uh, a nice place to sit, and you've got your, uh, your shower on the removable uh, thing right there so you can have the wand. And then we'll uh, end up our tour here in the very front of the trailer. Uh, we've got our queen bed here. And the mattress is an upgraded pillow top type mattress. Very nice, comfortable mattress. Offers, uh, feels like it offers really good support, like it'd be a nice mattress to sleep in. Sometimes people buy a brand new RV and find that after night number one, they have to toss their brand new mattress and go get something comfortable. Uh, I'll never forget, uh, it's one of the things that has lingered with me before I was ever in the in industry. I bought a brand new motorhome, and it was a nice big diesel pusher motorhome. And uh, I went to pick the, the motorhome up, and, and we were staying at the dealership for that night and we slept one night on the bed and my back was killing me. We had to just toss the mattress and put a good mattress in it. At that time, this motorhome cost more than my house did, and I couldn't even sleep on the bed. And I really felt like that was uh, nothing more than cheapness on the manufacturer's part. So it's little things like the bed that really, uh, in my opinion, make the difference. So uh, coming over here, we've got our nice big, uh, our nice big closet here, and I really love this feature. You've got these really nice little shelves back in here that are great for shoes. So that's nice for smaller items. You have a couple of shelves on either side that are great for anything. You can put shoes on them or folded clothes, anything you might want to do there. And on this side we are pre-plumbed and pre-wired for a washer and a dryer combo or you can put a washer on this side and you do have the dryer vent location area over here for a dryer. So you could have a residential style washer on this side and dryer on this side. So that's a feature a lot of people are looking for nowadays in their RV is to be able to do laundry and this one's set up for whatever you might want to do. Um, Pulling that two right there. Over here we have our, oh I just pulled that too far, uh, pull that back into place. Uh, over here we have our dresser and this is made to look just like a piece of furniture in your house. It almost looks like a freestanding dresser. You've got a bank of four drawers, nice big deep drawers that you could put big clothing items, you know, jeans and things like that in, sweaters. You've got a nice little laundry hamper right here. Right here is where your TV backer is for whatever size TV you might want to put in here. But the way that they've designed this, it really feels more like a piece of furniture than a piece of built-in RV furniture. So it just feels more homey. And we have equipped um, all of the trailers that uh, that we bring in at Highway RV, whether they're travel trailers or uh, fifth wheels. If they have an option for a second air conditioner, we almost always put it. Uh, we're in Florida. It gets a little bit warm down here in the summers, and we feel that you need all the cooling power that you could possibly have. And a lot of times dealers will drop little things like the uh, the extra air conditioner off or a spare tire or something like that in order to keep that advertised price even lower. But we feel like we need to equip our pieces of inventory the way that people use them, the way that they need to be equipped. So we always bring in the extra air conditioner. So always look when you're shopping to make sure that the unit you're looking at has those features that you really are going to need. So um, that's basically the inside of the 32RE. Let's go ahead and continue our tour out on the outside. Okay, so here we are on the outside of our 2017 Phoenix 32RE model. Uh, starting right up here at the front, you're going to notice we have a really nice streamlined front end cap. This is the optional painted front cap, so it's a little bit fancier than the standard one. We have the turn point technology, which is actually the front cap cuts back in this area so that it's not as easy to jackknife the, the trailer on your pickup truck. In other words, when you turn tight, this isn't going to hit the cab of your truck. 
uh, nearly as easy. Uh, depends on the bed, of, bed length of your truck, of course, but this is going to give you a lot more maneuverability in many cases. Uh, we have the trail air front uh, king pin box right there, so it's an upgraded uh, pin box. Coming underneath here, oh, lock that. We've got our spare tire inside. You can see we've got aluminum rims all the way around. Right here's our battery. I don't have the top to the cover on it right now because we just have it installed for this uh, for this video. But the box is over here. Nice uh, clean setup in there. Plenty of room for some storage of items in that area. If we go ahead and close that down. Come on over here to the side. Right now I'm underneath the awning. Don't have enough room to put it completely out, but it's a 15 foot awning with uh, LED strip lighting underneath. So it's got a nice glow at nighttime. Uh, gives you a nice area light. It is power awning, of course. Here we have our LP gas cylinders, 230 pound LP gas cylinders. And here's our main storage area. And you can't really see through right now, but that's full pass-through storage. Really, really roomy in here. Well finished out with black carpeting in here. Uh, just really nice and neat and plenty of space. These are held up by a magnet mount and they are a slam shut door. So you can just let them slam like that. It's designed to do that. You're not harming the door whatsoever. Coming back to the entry door, you have a triple step leading up to it, but you have this uh, special system on the hinges where it just stays wherever you put it. It's got enough resistance in the hinges that you no longer need the little buckle out here to keep it back. Uh, you can just put it at any position that you want to and it'll stay there. So nice feature there. Little things, little details that they've done to this coach that really make the difference. Here's the first of our three slide outs. Here's the back side of our four-door refrigerator. Right here we have our miniature uh, outside camp kitchen, so to speak. You got a little bit of storage right here, a shelf up here to put maybe a grill or something like that, and you have a mini fridge out here as well. All of the side walls on the Phoenix are the true gel coat finish. So this is the high quality gel coat. You can't see any of the strands like you do on Phylon panels. This is the highest quality fiberglass you can put on the outside of a trailer. It's in a nice taupe color and it, uh, it just shows beautifully. You've got kind of a dark uh, brown or black at the bottom, a dark brown, your taupe color, cream, and a gold stripe. Coming around to the rear, we have an aluminum ladder going to the roof so you have roof access. Also got that nice big window uh, that's over the sofa in the back. This right here is a mount for a grill and we do have a grill that comes with this that's in the storage bay. LED exterior lighting as well as throughout the inside. And over here we have the second of our three slides. We're going to get by this area. We're going to pick up the tour on the other side of this slide out. Okay, so here we are on the other side of that slide out. Felt it was better to go ahead and have a little edit there so you didn't see the shimmying through there. But here's the third of our, our three slide outs. This is that bedroom slide out. Beneath that we have an exterior shower. Back here we have a furnace. Our hot water heater is a 10 gallon hot water heater and our 50 amp service and of course you need that 50 amp service because we have two rooftop air conditioners. In here is the other side of that pass through storage bay and what we have right here is a grill. That's the grill that goes on the back bumper, our 50 amp cord. Right here is a nice organization of all of the hookups that you're going to need. You've got a fresh water fill, you've got your black tank flush, city water connection, your, your uh, your drains right here, 
a battery master which is really nice you can just turn that battery disconnect off and you're not going to drain your batteries down when it's in storage and over here we have the uh, LCI electronic leveling so you have four point auto leveling all you have to do when you've disconnected your truck from the trailer is push the auto level button and you're going to be fully leveled what's nice about this system is when you go to hitch back up you can push a couple of buttons it's going to return back it's going to remember the height that you unhitched at and it's going to return back to that height so that all you have to do is pull your pickup truck right in no need to reset that height so very nice system gives you nice stability when you're parked and makes setting up a fifth wheel all that much easier so there we go that's the outside of our 2017 Shasta by Forest River Phoenix 32 RE I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you there's a lot of specs we didn't get to cover in this short video and you can always see that extra information on our website at highwayrv.com we'll have all of the stats holding tank capacities water capacities inside height width you name it that's uh, all the information is there so again visit us at www.highwayrv.com you can also call us at 863-956-1036. My name's Brian, but whoever answers the phone's going to be more than happy to help you out. Also connect with us on Facebook, uh, our Highway RV Facebook. And if you're watching this video on uh, YouTube, click the subscribe button. That way when we have a new piece of inventory or we've shot a new video, you will get a notification that we have that up and you don't have to keep checking back. It's a good way to keep, keep up on new used inventory that we have especially. But uh, I sure hope this video has been helpful to you. I also appreciate you taking the time to watch it. You have a great day and God bless.